so uh, after having this long piece of a uh, thread I am gonna spin it uh, into my legs to make it strong so if you see now it's strong so once I have this piece of a uh, yarn I started using my spindle so the spindle it's made with a clay with a piece of clay and a piece of stick of coffee so I am gonna start I will uh, this time I already have threaded my spindle so I will skip the first process I don't need it so what I do is to grab the end of this uh, yarn that I already have here I'm joined to my piece of cotton that I already clean put together without tying so then I start spinning spin pull up spin and pull up spin pull up and that would be the same process until I finish the piece of cotton I have in my hand It looks easy, but of course it has its own skill to do it. As I was saying, mostly of the girls in Guatemala, we started using this technique or this uh, task when we are kids. Like seven, six, seven, eight years old when we start to do this. If you see, I finished my cotton. If I want more, I will just grab another piece and keep doing the same, just joining and keep doing the same to have more thread. So this is how we make the thread in a, using this technique. In Guatemala, we have four different colors of cotton that grows uh, here. So we have chocolate, we have khaki and we have the white color. This one is called khaki. This one is called the uh, uh, coco, so it's like coco color. And this one is ishkako, so ishkako is like uh, chocolate. And the white cotton that it grows here in Guatemala, so these three colors. They are not diet, so it grows like it's uh, in own color.